Hey there. Welcome to another video review by CigarFellows.com. My name is Brent. I'm going to be your reviewer again today. And uh, today we are going to review the Arson Cigar. Um, I had never um, come across these cigars before and uh, kind of ran into them uh, a couple weeks ago. And, um, well, let's review this and we'll find out. But uh, <clears throat> this is their Robusto. These are Republic, or, uh, Dominican Republic um, cigar. Um, wrap on this. It's a, it's a little toothy. There's some good-sized veins running through some of this. So um, I'm not exactly sure what that's going to do for... Um, Excuse me. <laughs> Don't have a cold. Um, just got done eating a uh, pulled pork sandwich that had some pretty hot barbecue sauce on it. So <laughs> that's why I'm sniffing. But um, the um, the wrapper, um, it's it's good construction. Uh, the cap looks good. Uh, looks pretty even. Um, not bad. Uh, Smells uh, kind of leathery, little uh, you know, tobacconish, uh, which is a good thing. I'm gonna go ahead and punch this one this time, and uh, hmm. draw is a little tight. Um, not horrible. Um, I would say draw is, um, and now mind you, these have been in my humidor at about 64%. Draw is um, like a McDonald's milkshake that you've had for a while. Yeah, that's about the best way to describe it. Get this puppy fired up. Let's see what we get off the bat here. <clears throat> Just filled this up. <laughs> there we go. Finally went out and bought myself a new lighter and uh, got one of these blazers. And uh, it seems to be doing pretty good so far. Definitely better than some of the luck I've had with some of my other lighters. We're going to have to do a video on lighters. She's toasting good. This lighter is really good at toasting a foot. Um, and still, without the flame touching, it's, it's really exceptional at it. First little bit there. Pepper. <clears throat> Definitely black pepper. And a little bit of uh, A little bit of earth tone on that. Um, so initial black pepper, a little bit of earth tone. So uh, let me smoke into this a little bit. We'll come back and we'll continue this discussion about this arson cigar. This is uh, once again the Robusto. Hey everybody, welcome back. So uh, yeah. A little over a third into this arson cigar, and uh, I don't know if you can see that, but man, that burn is just razor sharp. This is this has been a great burning cigar. I haven't had any issues, even with the veins that I talked about. I kind of figured that uh, we might run into some kind of issue here or there, but nothing. It's uh, it's burning spectacularly. 
the smoke drawing into my mouth is very creamy. It's um, it's very smooth. The retro hail is very smooth. Light spices. Um, this is definitely more of a medium bodied cigar. Uh, nothing heavy about it at all, which um, will be a very nice surprise for um, uh, some of you out there um, who are going to try this. You'll see that it's very it's very well blended. Um, the, the flavor profiles are um, a little, how do I say this? Man, it's 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 really difficult because it's um it's so creamy and smooth with a little bit of um, spice on there, a little bit of what started as black pepper is kind of moving towards white pepper. It's really um, it's really a neat blend, um, and, and I don't know another way of putting it besides neat. And uh, you know, I mean, not to sound like. You know, my man card needs to be revoked, but uh, neat is about the best word for it. Um, it's, uh, I mean, it's still burning great. Um, ash is nice and light gray. Um, it's just spectacular. I mean, for, for, a, for a medium body, you know, kind of, uh, you know, creamy cigar. Um, not generally something that I would look for in a cigar. Um, I think most of you guys know I like them a little more full body, a little bit spicy, um, you know, grassy, sweet too. Um, but it's a, it works. This cigar definitely works. Arson definitely had their blenders do an excellent job on these. Um, this is the uh, third one now that I've smoked. Um, I smoked mostly the smaller ones. Um, I do have a um, larger one still to smoke, but um, I figured I wanted to do the Robusto because uh, I know a lot more people are into Robusto size than you know, and into some of the larger size Vitola. So. It really is. It's working very well. Um, let me go ahead and smoke down a little bit more of this. We'll come back. I'll talk a little bit more about uh, any changes that I see. And, uh, you know, um, actually, before we go, I, I do want to mention that um, even though the draw seemed a little tight, it's not. It's, um, it's uh, I wouldn't say effortless, but it's still at a point where it's not, I mean, we've all had those cigars that hurt your cheeks, literally hurt your cheeks. Like, you just, you're having so many draw problems, you've used your draw tool, you're tired of it, and you just set it down because you're just like, forget it, I give up. And and unfortunately, I've had to do that. Um, but uh, not with this. This thing is uh, really, really going well. Um, yeah, definitely going well. So uh, let me go ahead and smoke down a little bit more of this. We'll come right back. Hey everybody, welcome back. So, uh, <laughs> I had an unfortunate thing happen. Uh, while I was doing the final part of the review on the Arson Cigar, my batteries went dead. And uh, I don't know at what point they went dead. So I'm just going to kind of give a recap real quick. Kind of, um, The cigar changed a little bit on me towards the end. It uh, got a little more um, beefy. It uh, kind of went from, you know, nice and smooth and easy going to more beefy and... Um, it was good. It was definitely good. I'm, I'm glad that uh, I had the opportunity to review it. Um, I would definitely say check them out, Arson Cigars. Um, and, uh, you know, you can always check us out on the web as well at www.cigarfellas.com. You can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash cigarfellas. And as well as uh, follow me on Twitter at cigarfellas. Till next time, my name's Brent. My friends call me Moose, and you can too. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.